Hi, my name is Sven Natus. I'm Senior Marketing Manager for Automotive MCUs at Spansion and today I'd like to talk to you about our new Traveo MCU family and specifically about our graphic MCUs that we just released. Our graphic MCUs are dedicated for applications like instrument clusters, head-up displays and center information displays, so the whole driver information area. All the devices come with CAN-FD, Ethernet AVB, secure hardware extension to allow the necessary level of security that is desired in modern cars. But as well, and this is really the highlight here, they come with a very compelling graphic subsystem. So we got a 2D engine that allows advanced rendering effects like perspective warping. Warping on the fly can be done here. The 2D engine also comprises a vector drawing engine that supports font rendering. But the real highlight of the family is a fully embedded 3D engine that supports real 3D rendering within a simple MCU. For today, I really want to focus on the 2D engine and we got some nice demos here that I'd like to show to you. So, as you can see here, is a demo that demonstrates dual display support. So we got two displays where we can render content on. Video input would also be supported here. But really what we show here is the perspective warping. So this cover flow demonstrates quite nicely how a 2D HMI can look like and it look, really looks like a 3D effect, but it's pure 2D rendering. This is the important part to understand here. What is also very important to understand that all this rendering operation goes pretty much autonomously, and it's pretty much done autonomously by the graphics engine and does not require much interaction with the CPU. So really the CPU load is at a level like 10% for this particular application here. Another thing is the font rendering engine so there's a second engine which runs in parallel to the actual Blit engine that allows font rendering such as shown in the second display here that you can see. What I also mentioned before is warping on the fly. So this is something you can see here. This image kind of looks like distorted but that's of course on purpose and I can show you that. That's really dedicated for head-up display application. So you can change the warping effects at your own discretion, any distortion is possible. It's been applied on the fly. You don't have any interim storage that is necessary. So it runs on a very high performance without any penalty to the graphics engine and without any penalty to the memory usage. The memory usage here, of course, especially for graphics systems, is a very important part. And here, Spansion comes up with something really new and compelling, which is the Hyper Flash and the Hyper RAM. So both these hyper memory products are a very important part of our graphic MCU solution. I want to show you a demonstrator for the hyper memories. What you see here is the performance of a regular quad spy. So running on 100 megahertz with single data, um, we achieve up to 37.6 megabyte per second which is an okay data rate, but from modern HMI applications, simply no longer enough. So Spansion came up with the Hyper Flash and the Hyper RAM, and what you get here really is more than four times the performance. Still running on 100 megahertz, but almost up to 200 megabyte per second, and the user can choose either to use Flash or RAM or both together, and all of this, of course, is supported by our Traveo Graphic MCUs.